Yo, what's going down, Commanders? I've, I'm going to put this just a rant again, and I, I know I'm not showing much in the way of how to do bases in the game at the minute, but this is kind of bugging me a, a lot, and I don't know if it's going to bother you as well, but this, um, someone asked, would a the, would the pursuer fly like the one in the boss base? And Drake come out at the mega levels, it flies like the Escort. So not flies in the traditional sense. And I can feel the fucking, what he's trying to say here is, it, it hovers or something like that, blah, 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 like the Escort. Well, my point is the Escort, uh, and I think what I know what he's trying to get at here is the Scream of Turbulence. Is it'll be, it, it won't be affected by that because it, it, it flies like the Escort. But my biggest problem is, is the Escort is uh, affected by the Turbulence. And I don't mind kicks I bending and twisting the rules, but when they have got no clue about what the unit that they're trying to say it flies like or it behaves like doesn't work within the realm of their little circle, their little bubble, it bothers me. Instead of kicks I saying, yes, it flies at Omega, but it's got a built-in immunity to the screamer, the turbulence effect, that, that, then I'll go, right, okay, they, they, they're breaking their rules, but they're breaking it and telling us they're breaking it. Instead of going to arse about, face about it, and trying to say, but it flies like the Escort, that makes it immune to the Screamer. Let me just show you. Oh, this guy's got the Screamer in his base. I've got six Escorts and the Escort Hero. It's just... just to show you that what they come out with sometimes and the lack of uh, uh, knowledge of their own game so it flies like the escort strike this, this guy's got the screamer in there let's zoom in for you guys affected by turbulence no matter what way you look at it it's affected by turbulence see that little down arrow that's what makes it affected by turbulence so it, it flies like the screamer so it's going to get affected like the uh, uh, Flies like the Escort, so it should be affected like the Escort to the Screamer, is what I'm seeing. If you want to make it so it isn't affected by the Screamer kicks, I don't use another unit as its parameter. You can't use another unit as its parameter. You've got to go with, right, it, it does fly at a Mega, but it's got a built-in immunity to the, the Screamer Turbulence effect, or a reduced value against the Screamer's Turbulence effect. One of the two. Don't try to be clever and, and say it flies like an escort. So not don't fly traditionally. The escort flies. It's an infantry that flies. It doesn't start start off on the ground and go up. It doesn't hover over the ground. It's in the air. It it's affected by the screamer. And I know that's what kicks are getting at. And I'm gonna. I would prefer it if they would go right. You can choose. So a, a tech comes with it at 21, you get a tech, it pops up, and you can choose whether it flies or it doesn't. This is for the pursuers, by the way, guys, not the escorts. So if we look at a base and it's heavily fucking armoured against air units, we can then place that on the ground. If we look at a base and it's not heavily armoured against air units, we can place it in the air. Taking away that choice is taking away 50% of the game for us. And that's what annoys me, that's what bothers me. And I'm not blaming Drake, he's only being passing on the information that he's got. But they, they, someone at Kickside has got to start playing the game to understand what the knowledge that the players have got. And the way things work isn't always what you come out with. Sometimes you have to take a step back and say, right, let's go check the escorts before we say it flies like the escort. Or let's just say to the players, it flies but it's immune to turbulence or it's 50% immune to turbulence or 75, whatever you want to call it. So when you break your own rules for the game, you're breaking them in a way where the players understand, where we can go out and say, right, okay, it's not like any flying unit we've got before. It doesn't need a tech, it's just immune to it or it's 75% immune to it. But I would prefer to have that choice whether it flies or didn't fly. I don't want it to be flying in every single base. The only, th the only f reason I'd want it to fly, this unit, if it shoots and moves. If it sh shot and moved, this unit might be good alongside the um, Proteus with the speed up tech. So you go Proteus, that in, and then you run that into the base, and it's sort of like shooting at things as it runs into the base. If it can't shoot and move, and it has to go to a standstill, I can't see the point of it. I just cannot see the point of it. But, again, it's just my opinion like normal. 
I wish Kickstarter would uh, think things through a little bit more. I would prefer this to be what well, at 20 or 21, sorry, a mega level 21. You you get the option to put the tech on it to make it fly, take the tech off to make it sit on the ground. I think they're, they're taking 50% of our game away by forcing us. At, I, I don't even know if I want to put it to 21. That's the God's honest truth. Because it's not just... It, air's not that much good. Even if even if you weren't going up against the um, Screamer, putting air into a base to start with or halfway through generally isn't a good idea. Because you're going to get rammed. The only things that do do well against the base that's heavy against air is units that are, uh, can't get caught by the turbulence and can get sped up by the Proteus. I just, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it is that what you want? Do you want it to fly, or do you want to have the choice for it to fly or not to fly? I know what I prefer. I know the, I, I prefer two choices rather than just there. Yeah, that's flying now or floating, hovering, whatever kicks I want to call it. I really don't know. I'd prefer this unit to probably go into the base. Once it hits a certain point in the base, it would jump. So it would jump into the centre of the base, and you can probably pick off the CC or something like that. I did mention that on my Discord. It, I'd prefer it like a jetpack jump, if you know what I mean. Make it so once it's in, in the air, it's airborne and jumping, it's very hard to hit. So you can get to the centre of the base and maybe pick off the CC. That'd be an interesting unit, an inter interesting concept. Instead of just going, right, 21, that's it, it flies. Get on with it. But it's like the Escort, so guys, don't forget. It flies like the Escort, so it don't fly, but it does fly. But it it's immune to the Screamer, because the Escorts ain't immune to the Screamer. This is what I don't get with Kicksire. They've got to start playing their own game to understand what the, yeah, the values, the way things work, and everything else. If they're just shoving stuff in there and winging it, and mumbling on about the Escort like I am for the last 10 minutes, or 5 minutes, whatever it is, it, it just doesn't make no sense. And I just want Kicksire to realise that, that it's probably better to give us a choice whether it flies or it don't fly. Because it's going to be one of them. I've got a feeling it's going to be one of them units that it doesn't move and shoot. So that's that's the first thing off the card. So if it flies, you've got to fly it in and then stop, and then it starts shooting at something. So that that's a tech that needs to go on it straight away, where it can shoot and move maybe at multiple targets as well, to make it of any use once it's flying. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. Um, as always, I'm only putting my five cents in. I've got a big math. You know I have. As always, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. And please start the conversation about it because without the conversation, Kicks, I'd probably ignore this sort of shit. Maybe put it to Kicks and say, you've got, this is the wrong choice to give us on the forums. Hopefully you don't get banned for uh, suggesting something on the forums like, like we normally do. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, take care all. Bye-bye.